Hello everyone, this is going to be a tutorial about a countdown timer. Some time back I was looking for a tutorial online on how to do a countdown timer for the billboard on my football page but I couldn't find any. So I decided, so I, so I got this method and I decided to do a tutorial on it just in case somebody else's face is going through the same problem. Let's get right into it. You go to Photoshop, you go to Photoshop, open a new document. Dimension could be any can be anything. All right. Okay. Open a new document. And you create the numbers. You go. To, you press T on your keyboard, or you click on this T button here. Create the numbers with a red color because most LED colors and watches and billboards are red. One. Zero. Scale it. Make sure you leave spaces at the edge of at the edge of all the numbers. These spaces are gonna really mean a lot when we go to Maya. This is going to be our default color, red. So you control S, you save numbers default. Save it as a JPEG file. It's a picture file, it's a JPEG file. Save maximum quality. To create the transparency map, you're going to duplicate these numbers, hide the first one, rasterize this one, control U to saturate it, turn it to all white, turn this background color to black, click on G on your keyboard or go to this bucket, bucket icon here, change the color and click on this. You go to the numbers, control A, you select them, go to channels, click on this create new channel it's gonna create a new alpha channel then you control V and you paste you go back to layers and you just you deselect and you save this as a target file numbers trans it's gonna be a transformation map you say I save it on my desktop so it'll be easy it to be easily accessible save now we go to now we created our default color and our transparency. So we go. Oh, sorry, it it was loading. The target file is going to give you options: 24, 32, 16, and it's just all any of them work. Okay. So it's saved. So we have we have that. You go to Maya. Create a new document in Maya. You create a picture plane. Scale it up a little bit. Assign a new material, shader, AI standard surface, AI standard surface. You go to color, on the, you go to base color. Click on the checker box. You go file. You bring in the numbers dot underscore default, the default color. Import it. You go back to the center surface, you go to geometry to, to plug the transparency map in. Click on this checker box and import the target file here. To see the texture on the viewport, you click on this checker box here. You see the texture. Right. Now you you go to you go to the modeling tab, you go to UV, UV texture editor gonna open you're gonna then you click on you right click here you right click on the space and go to UV shell resize this plane to fit one number one okay now you're gonna duplicate all this all these planes to represent every number one two three four five six seven eight nine so we have template represent ten planes representing ten numbers. Okay, so you click on every plane and put them on the UV texture editor. Put them in their corresponding numbers. Picture plane two. You right click, go to UV shell, and reposition it. Picture plane three. Right click, UV shell, reposition. Picture plane four. UV shell. And picture plane zero, UV shell, good. 
now you have every now every plane represent all the plane representing every number you you create a nerve circle you go to create nerve primitive nerve circle bring it up here scale it up a little bit this is going to be our control it's going to control the visibility of the numbers all right you go to the attribute editor i would like to hide all the attributes on the um on the controller because I'm not going to use any of them. I'm going to create my own visibility. I'm going to create my own attribute, sorry, to control the visibility of every plane. So I right click, hide selected, go to edit, add attributes, create all the attributes that will control all the planes. That's one to one to zero. All of them will have their own attributes. So we'll start from one, minimum zero, maximum one. Add two minimum zero maximum one three minimum zero maximum one and zero minimum zero maximum one okay so now we have all the the um, the attributes that would control the picture the visibility of all of the picture planes respectively you go to the animation tab click on key set driven key set this nerve curve nerve circle or controller is going to be the driver and all the planes are going to be driven select all the planes turn the visibility off zero visibility off click on visibility and this the set driven key um this thing all right i don't know what's called you click on visibility turn out everything off now you're going to click every every attribute you're going to click it and set it as a default key on that on zero visibility for all the planes i don't know if you know what i mean but this is what i mean you click on visibility for one key for two key when they're all zero five six key seven key eight key nine key zero key that's what i mean so now you're going to be turning on the visibility one by one using the attributes on the controller right so we're going to start with one which is the controller you click on you, you press one you're going to control picture plane one you turn the visibility on and so that's all of them so that's one here and key all right you go you turn it off make sure you turn it off if not it's going to break your connection come to two one two here and two here and picture plane turn the visibility on so like all of them and key turn it back to zero Go to three, one, three, picture plane three, turn the visibility on, select all of them, and key. Go to, f turn back off, go to four, one, four, four, visibility on, select all of them, and key. And zero one picture plane and visibility on select all of them click on zero and key so now we have our our controller is going to control all the visibility of our um we're going to control the visibility of our numbers of our numbers okay so let me let me let me um, make an animation for it so that you see the control clearly. All right, let's turn this off. Let's go to one. Let me take every twenty-five frames to be every second. Okay, so let's turn one on. Press S to set a keyframe. Come to twenty-five. Turn one off. Turn two on. Set a keyframe. Go to fifty. Turn it off. Go to three, turn it on, go to seventy-five, 
turn this off and fall on go to okay and take this back here so that's a loop so this is how it's going to look like you now. This is how the countdown timer is going to look like. Play. So this is this is going to be the end of our tutorial. This is going to be the end of my tutorial. Okay. And if you have any problems that if I'm if there's any way I'm not clear enough, you can you can comment and you can drop a comment in the section below, and I will try my best to respond. And explain to you the best way that I can even if it requires me to do another tutorial to explain better I'm gonna do it so um, yes drop a comment and we'll learn together all right so thanks for watching I'll see you in my next tutorial hopefully later